what's going on my name is brown here welcome back to the f1 career mode here today for the austrian grand prix if you missed the last episode make sure to watch that before you see this one that was a it was an all right race at france it was definitely better than real life um to austria though strategy wise gonna be a one stop from the softs onto the mediums if nothing happens we had some updates they both came for this weekend that was on the engine and the aero front if you're new around here make sure to subscribe and slap a like on the video if you enjoy this video but it's going to be a very interesting race here is the grid So it's Max Verstappen getting another pole position alongside Finland's Valtteri Bottas. P3 is Pierre Gasly. P4 is George Russell. P5 is Charles Leclerc with Brown a solid P6. P7 Sergio Perez. P8 Lewis Hamilton. Rounding out the top 10 is Lando Norris and Roman Grosjean on P9 and P10. Then comes Sebastian Vettel and Devon Butler. Then Carlos Sainz with a very poor qualifying. P14 is Lucas Weber. P15 Nico Hulkenberg. P16 Giovinazzi. Lance Stroll P17. Daniel Ricciardo with a grid place penalty is P18. And on the final row of the grid is Kevin Magnussen and Alexander Albon who both take penalties so here we go and it's one of the shortest tracks on the f1 calendar lights out and away we go and both has got a poor start and max this happens got away well to the inside we'll, we'll try and do something it's been a good start by george russell but he's been had to break hard he's been held up there and now we can have a little look we've lost out though too we've had an awful start we had to break to avoid our teammate and we've just gone backwards then from p6 we're going to go for a lunge back down the inside and we are going to retake some places and we're going to just be ahead of lewis hamilton then up next is sebastian vettel who's had a mighty start in the alfa romeo and then also sergio perez as we go down the inside of Sebastian Vettel there next up is the racing point and hopefully we can set our sights and get back up in this race Vettel thought about it down our inside then skipping on though to the the second to last corner Vettel thought about it down our inside the racing point of Sergio Perez has started to pull away here and that isn't good for us as we go on to the second lap Vettel pulls back to our inside now trying to go down our inside into turn one we defend all the way around the outside but Vettel's not done yet he's going to go back to the outside the Hamilton's there though Hamilton catches Vettel napping whilst Vettel couldn't make up his mind where he wanted to go to the inside or the outside of us now though towards the end of lap three Hamilton got past Vettel and now he's trying to challenge us down the inside this is the battle for P8 in this race so we've lost two positions at the start we defend Hamilton and now he is left defending Sebastian Vettel once again and Hamilton absolutely sends it down the inside after he's trying to defend Sebastian Vettel and now he's on the back of us but he's just too far back to really do anything onto lap four one lap later back down the inside goes hamilton and us into turn one we defend to the outside because on the grass there we go that wide and now this might be it hamilton's got it got us and now here comes sebastian vettel to the inside and look at grosjean trying to get past vettel vettel's been caught napping again and now we get back past we get back past lewis hamilton and now Sebastian Vettel is going to go past Lewis Hamilton as well. Grosjean fell back, so the house not really where the Alpha is. is back down the inside on lap five. Goes the Alpha of Sebastian Vettel. We defend him again, and that gap in front of us is just getting bigger and bigger by the second. As Hamilton tries to go back down the inside, of Sebastian Vettel has a not contact there. That 
It could have been a good move, but Hamilton's now left defending. Roman Grosjean, and Grosjean, I think, has actually got the job done here. And he actually has. What a move by the Haas man. Roman Grosjean, good move. That puts him up then into P10. Drops Hamilton out of the points. As Sebastian Vettel's not done with us there. We, we force him wide, and now he's still on our outside. And there's yellow flags. And we've gone off the track. Sebastian Vettel has gone off the track, even on the grass, and now he's lost half his front wing. And this is a replay now of what happened in just a second. Here we go. Vettel gets an outstrip stream, absolutely rockets past us. I didn't see him then. I tried to defend to the outside too late. And then here, I thought Vettel had given up and he hadn't. And then he just turns straight back onto the track and slows down. He's touched the Haas thereof. Kevin Magnussen, that's where he's lost his front wing. But I'll throw my hands up for that. That was my fault there. I, I, that was kind of to scare him a bit. But here, I literally, I couldn't see him at all. I thought he'd backed out of it. So I came back over to the left-hand side of the track. And Vettel was still there. So Vettel is absolutely down at the back. That's what it looked like from Grosjean's point of view. So... Grosjean's just got another free position. Antonio Giovinazzi got a very, very lucky escape there. Vettel come back on the track right in front of him. Kevin Magnussen, that doesn't look as bad from Magnussen's point of view. He literally tapped the back of him. At the end of lap six though, we touch the grass and now Lewis Hamilton is going to be coming back past us down the inside. We defend round the outside. And we do it yet again. Now Roman Grosjean having a look at Lewis Hamilton here. That Mercedes not where it should be at all. But Lewis does defend in a straight line. He has the straight line speed over that house. On to lap 7. Here comes Lewis Hamilton again. Back down the inside. We defend to the outside. And this was kind of story of the race to be honest. Just trying my hardest to defend trying to really get away but I was so slow through that kind of long chicane bit after the double left handers we defended the outside we got actually off the track that time and now Carlos Sainz has got past Ryan Grosje on here and now heading up the hill and here he comes Lewis Hamilton back down her inside I tried to do the switch back and when I did that Carlos Sainz tried to get past me and he then tagged me and I've lost out to Hamilton now because of that onto lap 9 and now heading up the hill again and out of the race goes Roman Grosjean his engine's blown the horse the Ferrari engine in the back of that horse has let go and that is a massive engine failure conspiracy I think maybe Grosjean battling away with the Alfa Romeo that of course has a Ferrari engine in. Did Ferrari maybe detonate it? <laughs> Probably not. But that is a massive, massive engine failure. Grosjean actually on for good points for once. Haas don't have a single point. They're the only team on the grid. They still yet to score. The safety cars actually come out because of this. So yeah, it's just gone bad for Grosjean and now Jeff gave me an alternative strategy and for once I decided to follow it because I didn't know what to do, it was too early to go on the hards so I've gone with Jeff for once, I put my faith in Jeff which it, it can never go, it can probably only go badly but you never know there's that one chance there's about 99% it's not going to go well but you never know there may be 1% as the Red Bulls get held up in the stop there they're trying to double stack their cars and now into the pits that was George Russell there's the racing point I think Perez are now trundling down the pits in just a second we will come into the pits then and we are going to put on a set of the softs again so we're committing ourselves to that two stop and then I dropped the clutch too early coming up so I had to re-engage it and then go again and we've actually lost out to Carlos Sainz after 
The Williams pit crew just decided to stare at me for a couple of seconds before they decided to service the car. And after pitting, we're down in P14. But on lap 11 here, the safety car is going to peel off. It is going to be Valtteri Bottas to lead them away. I think most of the drivers at the front of the field decided to stay out at the safety car. A lot of people pitted, you can see there. But it is Valtteri Bottas who leads from Max Verstappen in P2. And now Valtteri Bottas gets the hammer down and he is gone, he's bolted. And we can get back on with this race. There's four, there's 24 laps to go as the green flags get put place round the track and now we can get our head down and start to push on through as we go down the inside and get past Carlos Sainz fairly quickly there it actually caught me out how slow Carlos Sainz was going there in fact he broke so early that's why it kind of looks so dramatic but I got over to the right side of the track to go down his inside there we go down the inside of Lewis Hamilton and get rid of them too very very quickly there and then our side by side Carlos Sainz trying to follow us through when we kind of squeezed Hamilton wide a little bit down the inside goes Carlos Sainz there and he is past the Mercedes there and now here is Charles Leclerc we were kind of sticking and trying to follow Charles Leclerc he tries to go around the outside of the racing point of Perez and also Lando Norris and I just kind of decided to follow his line I thought about maybe dive bombing down the inside but that probably would never have ended well we're now kind of sandwiched in the middle as Paris tried to go down our inside actually I think it's Lance Stroll sorry but we managed to get past Lando so Lando's just been finessed there and now is he might even there's another position there Lando as Carlos Sainz tried to follow us but he does defend Carlos Sainz there Skip on another lap, we get past the racing point there. We're side by side. We're closing, we're closing. We're going to try and use the clear slipstream. But down the inside, we're now going to have to go for a dive. We're going to get past both racing points there. And also, Charles Leclerc. So that is a mental move. And now this is Charles Leclerc going up against the racing point. He's already got one of them. And now he's going to try round the outside of the other one there. And can he get the job done? They're still side by side. It is with Sergio Perez. And he gets the job done there. Now a couple of corners later. I told you I, I was slow through. That the chicane back down the inside. Goes Charles Leclerc on us. And this time he's managed to stick it round down the inside but I squeezed him and forced him to back out of it and now kind of what is into the pit you would have seen Kevin Magnussen going there so I couldn't kind of use Magnussen and try and pull away that really didn't work so all the cars now that didn't pit as down the inside tries Charles Leclerc on us we defend him again Skipping on one lap later, he's trying it again round the outside, we defend him that time. We're still side by side with him now, heading up the hill. But at this point of the race, we are currently sitting in P4 and battling for P4. Because of the, the drivers that didn't pit when the safety car came out, all started pitting. And that kind of bumped us back up the order but they're kind of the drivers that we've got to watch out for in the remaining of this race because they're going to kind of have similar pace to what tyres have probably been going on to the mediums but it was kind of around this point where I realised Jeff had completely screwed me over because on lap 19 I weren't getting anywhere because we were just constantly battling Charles Leclerc as you can see here again this time he shoves us off the track that was not on Charles and you know if he was going to do that to me something's about to happen down the inside we go and now this time we are going to squeeze Charles Leclerc completely off the track just like Max Verstappen did and now Sergio Perez has got the job done on car on Leclerc there and on lap 21 they are both going to come into the pits to make their final stop and one lap later 
we are going to do exactly the same thing actually I go over the grass I've been kind of a magnet to the grass this race you'll just see it they're constantly touching it and so we are going to come into the pits we're going to go onto the set of the mediums and then this is going to be our race now there's 12 laps to go 13 laps to go rather we are going to come out in P14 we've beaten out Sergio Perez but we have annoyingly been beaten out by um, Charles Leclerc and so now we're going to have to try and push after him but we couldn't because Sergio Perez was all over the back of us here and now on to lap 28 Charles Leclerc got this massive pack you can just see this actually went from P14 or P13 from where Charles was all the way into the top 10 so this was a big big kind of pack here as that is all kicking off here there's Carlos Sainz trying to make a move on Nico Hulkenberg our rival and Nico Hulkenberg defends him there on lap 30 and on lap 31 we were, we were battling away with Sergio Perez I did have to kind of leave out so like quite a bit of the action because otherwise it would have been the actual Austrian Grand Prix by the time we got through this video so down the inside this is on the final lap so we get one move this was kind of my last calf chance we needed four positions to get a point I've already got one and now we're going to absolutely send it down the inside of Magnussen and Daniel Ricciardo. And now we have to push for Hamilton to get one point. We're now P11. Can we do it? This is the final lap into the chicane. Around the final corner. It's going to be a win for Max Verstappen. P2 goes to Charles Leclerc. George Russell is P3. Sebastian Vettel after that making contact with us is going to finish an amazing P4 the other alpha is going to finish P5 of Bottas so not a good day for him and then here comes the battle it's going to be Carlos Sainz who takes P6 then Nico Hulkenberg then Charles Leclerc then Lando Norris Lewis Hamilton just gets us in the end for that one point one more corner not even lap I would have had Lewis Hamilton. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? Well, the safety car completely changed the race, didn't it? It's hard to say exactly what would have happened without it, but there's no question that they came out of that situation in a good position. Looking at the podium, you can see that red suit familiar to fans across the globe. A world-class win for a world-class team. Ferrari do it again. So that's been your 2021 Austrian Grand Prix for this season. It was a very kind of good race and I think moral of the story of that race, don't trust Jeff's strategies. I feel like we could have got some very good points if we just stuck to the original strategy. I think, I think we completely messed up doing Jeff's strategy. Here is the, the drivers. We're now sitting in P11 and in the constructors we currently sit in P4 with 95 points so hopefully next time in Silverstone we can break into that triple figure mark and actually because we, we still have the best car by quite a mile in terms of R&D there is the kind of upgrades coming so nothing coming for Silverstone but everything kind of coming for Germany after the British Grand Prix in two race weekends time so yeah kind of a frustrating race in the end with I feel like we kind of screwed up 
we shouldn't have listened to Jeff we maybe should have just tried to see how far we could have gone on the hards but it's too late now we'll have to see what we can do next time out at my home Grand Prix at the British Grand Prix but guys if you have enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe if you liked it make sure to hit the like button share it if you want to but until the next episode at the British Grand Prix goodbye